Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Let's Play IL-2 Stermovic Iron Man where we are going back to Ramsgate again. Let me just, okay, so yeah, we're 18,000 feet is probably what, is what we're supposed to go to. I will probably go higher than that though. I'll probably bump it up to around 20,000 or so, I reckon. Um, that seems like a fairly good altitude to be at, um, just to make sure you definitely do get above the enemy. We're going to be leading yellow section, Wing Commander Bloom's leading red section. So uh, basically let's go kick some ass, or get our own asses kicked. Probably going to be more likely the last one, but hey. I'm also going to, let's see, weapon. I'm going to bump this up to 170. Just to make long range shooting a little bit easier. Because, um, let's face it, with 170, if I get up really close to something and fire at it, I'm probably still going to wreck it. Um, but it, with, with it a bit higher at 170, that does give me a little more room, hopefully. I might even put it to 200, I don't know. It gives me a little bit more room to take some longer shots at, say, bombers and things, uh, more accurately. Anyway, so that, that's the idea, but we'll see. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I guess that's basically it. Let's just get going. Let's get airborne. And, uh, and and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful loading screen. Yes, I am being sarcastic. Oh, yeah, it usually takes ages of this bit, loading the stationary objects. Get on with it, game. Jesus, you don't have an excuse on this computer. You really don't. <laughs> actually, looking at that screenshot, actually does make me kind of think it's a bit of a shame that with this career, I, I don't get to go fight in the Mediterranean. Uh, you have to do a separate Mediterranean career for that, which is a bit of a shame, because fighting in Malta and North Africa and stuff would be kind of a blast, I think, personally, but hey, whatever. I guess if we ever made it that far, I could exit this career and then technically create a new one or whatever and then try and... Well, not wouldn't be able to carry stuff over because apparently that doesn't work because I tried it last time, but... Might be able to just sort of carry over the tally, final tally on the video description or something and... Just for a change of scenery, if you know what I mean, because, I mean, Southern England's great, but uh, we're going to be here for, like, years at this rate. The desert calls to me, folks, but uh, never mind, we'll see. I doubt we'll survive that long anyway. Um, there's also a small campaign you can do in the Far East against the Japanese, actually, which is uh, interesting. It's a bit tricky and quite difficult, but it's interesting. So let's see, what have we got? There's us. Okay, this is red section in front of us. Then we've got yellow section, which should be these three here. Then we've got some hurricanes. Are they Polish hurricanes though? That's the question. I don't think so actually. That's a different logo. Of course it could be another Polish squadron, I don't know, but I think these hurricanes might be English. How many of those have we got? Six of them, by the looks of things, rather than three, which is not bad. Even so, even if, if we do have hurricanes, I'm still probably going to go after the bombers anyway. Primarily, anyway, you know. So let's get going. go. There we go. Ugh, gear up. Okay. I don't like that forest being there. It, 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 it's scary. Trees in this game are terrifying. Right, I'm going to circle around, wait for everyone else to catch up as per usual, and I will meet you guys at 20,000 feet. So, BRB. Well, all right, there it goes, the call for bombers. Four o'clock low. Let's do a bit of a circuit here. Got everyone in the line of breast formation at the minute. Um, just so I can see where the bloody hell they are half the time. That looks like it might be the bombers. No, that looks like it might be the bombers. Ha ha ha! 
Alright then, gents. Let's tuck in, shall we? We'll fly over. This looks like there might be the escort fight is being a sweep ahead of the others, yep. Nine o'clock low, that is precisely where they are, yep. So we are going to ignore them. For now, are those ours? I think they are. I think those are Spitfires. We are going to ignore them, and we are going to go for these tasty, tasty flying wieners. Or those ones, even, maybe. Actually, yeah. Alright then. White flight. Attack bombers. Have fun. Alright, we do want to keep an eye out for these fighters, though. Let's go for this lot. They're higher up. Are at our altitude, we might as well. In fact, I'm actually just going to pull up slightly above them. These ones are at the head of the formation as well, so it makes sense to go for these guys first. Can we force a few of them to drop their bombs? Oh, we're wrecking these guys. Nice, nice. Wing commander just got a kill. Another one. <laughs> He's doing alright here, is actually. He's lasted longer than most of his predecessors. I'll give him that. I choose you! What have we got here then? They're JU-88s. Right, he just dropped his bombs. I saw him do it. Didn't get any engine damage though, annoyingly. But whatever, never mind. <laughs> That didn't do any engine damage. That's made of stern stuff, these uh, JU 88s, it seems. Bloody hell. It's like yellow section have been counted the escort. Alright, we got one smoking. How about you? Oh god. They're tough, aren't they? I'll give them that. Jesus. Well, let's keep hammering away until we're out of ammo. That's about all we can do, isn't it, really? Oh, God. Look at that. Looks like the formation's breaking up, though, which is good. Oh, one of them's on fire. Nice. Fuel tank leak, not good. Hung around way too long on that guy. Didn't follow my own bloody advice. I want this guy though. I want to get something out of this. If it's all possible. Be out of ammo almost now, though, to be fair. Yep, there goes the ammo. I think all he's got is a fuel leak. Ah, damn it. Never mind. What the hell do you need to take those guys out? A tank gun? Doesn't look like BF 110s down there, to be honest. Go on, finish him off. Get him. JU-88s must have a lot of armour, I'm guessing, because uh, I'm genuinely bloody surprised we didn't do anything there to any of those. Alright, we'll hang around for a little bit longer, let's give the other guys a chance to uh, get stuck in. Although, hello, it looks like I might have a bit of engine damage, but yeah, we got, we're smoking again. Enemy aircraft destroyed, sweet. Apparently it was enough. 
Must have damaged his control surfaces or something. Alright, well. They're breaking off. Shall we go? Alright, it's 10 o'clock. Yeah, I'm thinking we should go. <laughs> well, I need to either way, actually, because of my engine, so let's just tell everyone to bug, bug out. Uh, tactical, rejoin. Let's go. No ammo and damaged engine. Well, you know, can't argue with that, I don't think. I didn't see any 109s though, to be fair. I thought I saw some 110s, but no 109s. I'm a little curious as to why that is. But whatever. Oh, nice, there we go. We got the official return to base call. Oh, shared kill as well, nice. Oh dear, someone's getting... Someone's getting a pasting. Someone gonna help him? Looks like he's got a friend coming in at the back there, but it's gonna be too late. Bail out, dude, bail out. You're right over the you're right over the airfield anyway. Hopefully you got out. Now where are our lot? There's Fraser no, well not Fraser, but whoever our wingman is, it's probably not Fraser actually. Yeah, we need to get out of here before the fighters catch us. Let's go. Okay, home is this way. And barring any incidents, ladies and gentlemen, I think I will get back to you once we've arrived. And hopefully the others will catch up if we if if this isn't just it here. Um, okay, well, before we do that, formation. A line abreast. Let's get out of here. All right. Well, we're on our way back. There's some incidents going on on the over the radio, but I've also noticed we appear to have company, which is not good. I can't tell from here what sort of aircraft they are, but I'm not liking the look of them either way. Looks like it might be one of nines. And they're climbing up to say hello. Jesus Christ there, wingman, what the hell are you doing? Uh, oh god, there's more of them over here as well. They're heading the other way though, so... White flight. Change bloody formation. Let's go with finger four. this lot doing? Oh, they're getting further away now, so I think we might be okay. It was a bit of a scare, though. If we had ammunition, I wouldn't have been so bothered, but with no ammunition at all and a damaged engine, yeah, I don't really want to tangle with those folks, if I can help it. We're a little bit off course now, actually, so... Right, well, that with that little panic over, the others still haven't caught up, by the way, it's just me and him. Um, we'll, uh... Meet you back at base, folks, I think. Alright, well, as you can see, we've arrived. Just me and Wingman at the minute, I'm afraid. There's still other people about, though, because I can hear them giving directions for waypoints on the uh, on the comms. So, we're not the only guys who um, survived, and more to the point, I think Red 4 just got a kill, too, so... Probably another bomber went down on the way back or something. By the way... White flight, navigation, return to base. I might just wait for him to land first this time, actually. So because me landing first for whatever reason last time uh, completely screwed up the landing AI. They all just sort of flew around in a circle, not being able to land. It was a bit weird. So where's he gone? Red two, where are you? Oh, he's over there. Where is he going? If that's him. 
I guess it must be him. There's no one else around here. Where the hell are you off to, man? Maybe he was from a different squadron altogether? I don't... What? Never mind. Let's row for the wrong base. That's a distinct possibility. Um, no, this is Biggin Hill. So, yeah, I didn't get it. Where the fur? What's going on? Never mind. I'm going to land on the other runway this time. Um, Alright, we need to bleed off our speed and get a good run up. And see if hopefully this time I can actually land properly. <laughs> I have to admit, it's much easier to do in Cliffs of Dover. In fact, to be honest with you, on the whole, Cliffs of Dover is much easier. The aircraft just control better and it's easier to aim and stuff and, you know, all that sort of thing. Um, controls are a bit, I wouldn't say more sensitive, but just more responsive. Um, a Spitfire in this game, compared to in Cliffs of Dover, it handles like an absolute pig by comparison, so, it, you know. Fight is four o'clock. Where? Who? What? I didn't see any. Well, either way, I'm going to land. Uh, oh, God, I've gone the wrong way. Or have I? No, 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 I haven't. I'm, I'm going the right way. Getting a little bit mixed up here, guys. Sense of direction's failing me slightly. Let's cut throttle, try and bleed some speed. It, we've got a fair bit of turbulence as well, as you may have noticed, which is not going to make any life any easier, but we'll just have to deal with it, I guess. Oh, Red 3 shot someone down, nice. Oh, uh, God, there's some trees here. Not looking forward to meeting these up close and personal, if it's all possible. Alright, here we go. Retract the flaps. Close enough. Close enough. That wasn't even a bounce, really. It was more of a jolt. The feet did. The, the, the wheels didn't come off the ground, so I'm going to count it. Although I might, might be about to ground loop yet. <laughs> there we go. That that could have gone better, but never mind. <laughs> Let's taxi out of the way so no one lands on our faces. Come on, plane. No, not too much. Not too much. I want a bloody ground loop again. Good grief. Alright, this should do. We're nice and out of the way now. Hit the brakes. Engine off. There we go. Nice. Awesome. We're home. Well, a Spitfire again in a bit of a state, but, you know, whatever. Whatever it was, it clearly wasn't that important, because we, we got here just fine. Didn't develop any engine trouble on the way back or anything, so, eh, whatever. So who's this? Right, this is our wingman, who's still messing around. A hurricane. Well, a couple of hurricanes. A fair few hurricanes, in fact, and it looks like some of Red Section still around. Cool. I guess they're finishing their waypoints. Nice. Well, I will be back, folks, when um, I've skipped time compression ahead a bit to see what happens, um, to see if we get any more kills, or if anyone gets any more kills. We probably won't, to be honest, but we'll see. Alrighty then. So, nothing else happened, as you can probably... Actually, no. Some One of the other squad guys got a kill, uh, which you guys didn't see, but that was it. Holy crap, look at that. Look at all that blue. Look at all that blue on the board in flames. I love it. Right, let's see what happened then. Well, uh, RAF Manston got a pasting regardless. They destroyed some cars apparently. Um, aircraft statics, ah, that's what we were supposed to be protecting. Unfortunately, those aircraft statics, but never mind. So much we could have done really, I'm afraid. If we'd been patrolling over the channel, we probably could have intercepted the bombers earlier, then forced them to drop their bombs early, and, you know, then we could have actually done something about it, instead of patrolling right here, right over the airfield, which was utterly pointless, and essentially, really. Um, ask anyone who plays flight sims online, in my case, Cliss of Dover, when we're supposed to be protecting a target in the game as part of a mission, 
from the enemy team. We never do that. You never fly directly over the target because by the time you spot the enemy and go to intercept him, it's too late. He's already dropped his bombs. But uh, never mind. Um, let's see. So it was 10 JDU-88s, 10 110s, 10 HU-111s. Oh, I should have gone after them. They would have been easier. <laughs> And 10 BF 109Es. The enemy, or right, enemy losses. Wing Commander Bloom got three bloody kills. Greedy bastard. Pilot Officer Rolf got two kills. Flying Officer Dave got one kill. And a shared kill. So that might have added with the previous shared kill and give us another one, actually. I'm not sure. And Fraser got another kill. So we lost Pilot Officer Graves, sadly. He, he was with us for a while, I think, actually. Yeah, looks like he bailed out and his chute failed or something, because... His plane went down there, and he died there. So, yeah, I guess he bailed out and the, the chute didn't open. Uh, okay, so look, it looks to me, though, like Fraser got the guy who got Graves. So, there's that. During your career, you've destroyed 11 confirmed kills in total. Nice. Um, your performance in this mission was good. We need more pilots like you. Yay! So what, what went down then? A JU-88? JU-88? I guess so that guy we riddled then, he eventually went down. Yeah, we must have given him some crazy fuel leaks or, or damaged his control services or something. Because um, he did go down in the end. JU-88. Uh, we shared another one with Bloom. Um, yep, this 109E3 went down. The 110 went down. 110... JU-88 and a BF-110 all went down over the channel. This JU-88 went down on landing, and this guy went down, shared between Bloom and Rolf. Yeah, he went down. Near Boulogne, by the looks of things, right on the coast. Slap dam there. Um, yeah, we kicked ass, basically. We lost a hurricane here. Fraser, looks like he bailed out. Yeah, he did. Um, and we lost Graves, and that was it. We lost a Hurricane, and we lost Graves, and that was that was our only casualties for all this gigantic slaughter fest. My goodness, that was amazing! Wow, bloody hell, that was a cracking good mission. <laughs> that was wasn't it? It wasn't terrifically exciting, I suppose, from the perspective we were at, where we we're just shooting the Ju eighty eights. But my God, you can't argue with those results, can you? Look at that. Poor DL. Um, yeah, it was eight Spitfires and six Hurricanes versus this lot, and we kicked their asses. Looks like the, the tide might finally be turning, folks, although that may well end up being my famous last words. <laughs> Who can tell? Let's apply and see what happens. Okay, no promotions, no medals. Flight Sergeant Lane joined the squadron. We're. Oh, hello. This could be interesting. Or patrolling either we're patrolling our own airfield or we're patrolling Kenley. So we're defending our own airspace at the minute. Oh dear. Haven't had any scramble missions yet, actually. Uh, someone did ask about that. Do you get scrambles where you have to defend your own airfield that's un coming under attack? In other campaigns, particularly the Singapore one with the British, I've I've done scramble missions before, and Guadalcanal is the Americans. Uh, I've done missions where the enemy is literally about you know five minutes away from the airfield. You have to scramble up there and shoot as many down as you can. Don't know if there is or even programmed into this campaign, to be fair, however. Um, they might be, they might not be. Um, they might not be simply on the basis that um, in the actual Battle of Britain, I think situations like that were kind of rare because um, radar gave the RAF advanced warning of a raid coming in, and so it, it would very rarely be the case where the, the bombers would literally get to, like, here before anyone realised they were there and we had to get up there, but um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but we'll see. For now, we're just going to be patrolling our own airspace at the minute, which doesn't technically count as a scramble, although it probably means the enemy will be quite close when they arrive, I imagine. We'll see. But that will be for next time, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you then.